YouTube, what's up? This is my level 98 lightning trap assassin. I'm going to do an all act bosses run with that. Uh, but first, I'm going to show some of the gear and my stats before I go through that. So I'm using a Hoto. A Shaco with a Cham for Cannot Be Frozen. Very important with Trap Assassin. Mara's. A Spirit. Alder's Boots. Two BK Rings. Arachnid's Mesh. Enigma in a Mage Plate. Mage Fists. And then for a torch, I have a 1918 torch, a 2015-10 Annie. I have some resistance charms and some extra 17 mana. All res, 17 mana, 3 faster run walk. Some charms with resistance and life. Some life charms. And then I have a bunch of 3% fast run walk and resist. And then I have trap skillers with life. And a couple plain trap skillers. On swap, I have a CTA and spirit, a 654 CTA and another spirit. And for my stats, I am 157 on strength. You only need 156 just to equip spirit, but I have the one extra point from that one charm. And then everything else into vitality. This character specifically is nice for vitality because every point in vitality, you get three hit points, which is great. So it goes up pretty good. So life is really good on an assassin. For defense, it's 1520. For right now and then full on resists uh 18 damage reduction 139 mf 14 life after each kill which is from enigma which is great and here's a nice one that i really like is 100 percent faster run walk and that's before um burst of speed 55 faster hit recovery that's all i need 108 faster cast rate. You need to get to 102. And cannot be frozen. My Merc. Rockin' Endarials with a Rao Rune in it for right now, which is just to combat the negative fire resist. A perfect 15 ED Archon Plate. Low roll on life. I think it was like second from bottom and then all res was 29 and then a infinity and a thresher kind of low on the enhanced damage but again not important for them to do much damage just they need to be there for my skill tree for traps i have fire blast maxed out i have shock web Maxed out. Charge Bolt Sentry. Maxed out. Lightning Sentry. Maxed out. And Death Sentry. I only have one point into Death Sentry. And then I have my extra points, which is 12 extra points into Wake of Fire, which just is a synergy for Fire Blast to do more Fire Blast damage. So pretty much with this build, I'm doing a lot of regular Lightning Sentry with some fire bombs as added damage. Uh, and then you drop one death sentry. Death sentry does less lightning damage, but does corpse explosion and has the 40 to 80%, which is always 40 to 80%, whether you put one point or you put 20 points. The difference is, is slightly more lightning damage if you max it out or you put more points in. And the radius of how far you can get a corpse explosion but it doesn't do any more corpse explosion damage. So that's why a lot of builds choose one point in here just to supplement. So pretty much the method is you drop four lightning sentry 
and then one death sentry as things sort of die. I like using charge bolt sentry for bosses because it is higher damage per second and you can drop them pretty much right on top of the boss so that all the charge bolts will hit and it's pretty quick. It also is good for ubers. I had some uh, past videos on that. And then for the shadow tree, uh, one point into all these. So one point into Psychic Hammer and all these synergies just to get down to Shadow Warrior. I picked Sh Shadow Warrior over Shadow Master just because I, I, it says that they basically do the same skills that you have. So I want them to only do like fire bombs just to kind of supplement and to be an extra meat shield. They both have the same the same life. And then burst to speed, that's pretty much what you use. So you need the synergy, uh, the point here to get down to here. So burst to speed. And then I have one point into fade, although I don't really use fade. Might use it if you do Ubers or something, but pretty much you don't use that because you can only have one of these two. And burst to speed is more important for trap laying speed and run speed. And then in the martial arts street, nothing. So those are my skill points. So burst of speed makes you run real fast and lay traps real fast, which is good. So here we go. So I buff up, switch to my top gear so that I can launch or summon the shadow warrior and then buff again. So from here, Teleport to the right, typically from the waypoint, gets you down to the next level. Level 3 is random, so I just pick a direction. So it's important for teleporting purposes to have the 102 faster cast rate. The cast rate does not help with bomb speed. Bomb speed is attack speed. Uh, but teleport speed... You want that so that you can move around quick. But you don't need it all the time. I'm going to teleport over here. Drop some lightning sentry. Drop one death sentry. And then launch these bombs for Andario. Pretty quick work. Andy goes down against fire pretty fast. So, so yeah, lightning and fire are pretty good. Picked up that small charm. Let's check it out. 13 to mana. Not the best, but I'll keep it just for now. Good day. Maybe that's slightly quicker. Probably not. Because now I'm going to town. This was the bad choice. Should have gone to the waypoint because I do need to go to Arcane Sanctuary because you need to know where the real tomb is. So I'm just going to teleport this. Teleporting for this character is decently fast. It's not as fast as a sorceress, but it's all right. One thing that is nice about the assassin is that any lock chest you can open. So sometimes I like running this area because you can open up the super chests at the end. Some high rune chances with the ghosts. With my luck here, it'll be the very last path I take. Mana regeneration is not the best. All right, so square, circle, triangle. There's no triangle, so triangle is the one. Triangle, triangle, I believe, is on this side in the middle. 
triangle. Yep. Now in here, it is typically to the left of the entrance. In this case, it was not. So here we go. So drop the lightning sentry and then death sentry. But these guys are lightning immune, so even when Infinity breaks it, uh, using the bombs is actually a decent option. So we'll buff up just for this, but typically the method for Duriel is drop the uh, charge bolt sentry and then blast some, some fire bombs. So drop five of those and then some fire bombs. Again, death sentry goes really quick. Sorry, not death sentry. Charge bolt sentry goes really quick if you can drop them pretty much right on because every single bolt will hit a single target uh, monster, boss. So that was pretty quick. Endurance of Hate. Now, usually this is to the left again of the exit tile. So the exit tile is going this way. Usually there's dolls in here. So you want to kind of be careful. Thought it was going to be right there. Sometimes left is iffy. It's not exactly left. Thought it was going to be there too. Now I'm thinking that this is going to be one of those that goes, you go all the way around. No dolls, though. Here we go. Level three. So for this method, the same thing. You, you drop a bunch of charge bolt sentry and then blast fire bombs. And it's super quick. Super quick. Always pop that chest in the back, the super chest could be some goodies in there typically again i would clear all this in this level but i'm not gonna now for diablo i'm gonna go with a seal pop method just so that it's faster so just killing the seal bosses So you can hear the death sentry doing its thing. Good thing about traps is you can lay them before. So there's some lightning, even though these guys are. So I use fire bombs because they're light immune to start. So even their resistances are pretty high. So the fire bombs are pretty good. Almost died there, got stuck. So yeah, for this, I mean, 
kind of teleporting into that spot was a little dangerous, but you lay down the traps and then a death sentry and those guys are pretty quick. Oh yeah, those guys are fire immune. So you lay down some traps and then a death sentry. I like to pop this seal first so that once you kill the main boss, then they all die. They go down pretty quick with the death sentry. So for this, I'm going to do charge bolt sentry. Get five of them and then just spam firebombs here. And again, very, very quick. Check my pots and my need some more TPs. Like to make sure everything's repaired. All right. Now, finally, fail. So I will teleport here. This is to the right of the waypoint. This level is random. When you do a lot of bail runs, you can kind of pick up on the ways that are typically dead ends. And then here I like to teleport all the way up just in case there's dolls or souls. Fire blast bombs are good. They're good against souls because they can aim better than maybe you can. So we'll buff up. And then I do five lightning traps and then one death sentry. And then again, you can spam bombs. So, five lightning, one death. And then bombs. Once the first guy goes down, then there's a sort of chain reaction with the Teleport away from the Hydras. Save your Merc and your Shadow Master. Now these next waves are... Certainly slower. Because you're kind of waiting for the uh, Death Sentry to happen. Same with this wave. And bombs don't really help because they're typically fire immune, so. Still pretty quick. And then my method for bail, like all the other bosses, is to do a charge bolt sentry on top of him and then Launch some firebombs. So, charge bolt sentry right on top of him. And then, firebombs. So, pretty quick. Pretty quick. I always like to pick up the gold. So yeah, that's it. All the act bosses showed you my gear, my stats, my mercenary. So the lightning trap assassin is pretty good. 
can go through all bosses very quickly as you saw this is players one uh, i think this is viable from players one to three maybe on higher difficulties the lightning traps would slow down so yeah that's it